Hi, everybody. Um, welcome to Twitch Talk Thursday with Nisa. And this week we are interviewing Coach Blackman over at Doan University. They've just started a new program. And so we're excited to have you with us, Aaron. And um, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, first off, thank you for for having me on this. Uh, really excited to support um, the NSCSA and um, excited to see where the, the next couple of tournaments are going to go. Um, yeah, a little bit about myself. Uh, so I'm Aaron Blackman. I am the director of esports and then head coach here at Doan University. It is a brand new role. Uh, so we're a brand new program. Um, and I, I guess I have a, an interesting journey pathway into esports. Uh, so I actually spent the last ten years as a, a communication instructor at uh, the University of Nebraska Kearney. So I was teaching public speaking, and I was the uh, speech coach there. Um, and so that's where all of my education, you know, comes from uh, is uh, communication and public speaking. Uh, but then I just been very interested in uh, esports kind of on the side and uh yeah so quite a few years ago i i was playing a lot of heroes of the storm uh which was blizzard's moba uh game and um i i don't know i i guess i started live tweeting about uh matches and decided i could maybe start writing about matches um not having a ton of actual you know background in journalism just kind of figured this would be kind of fun um, and so I started at the amateur level and just, uh, covering the amateur heroes of the storm scene and then, uh, decided why not, let's take a crack at the pros, um, and actually got picked up by Blizzard. And so, uh, I worked as a freelance, uh, journalist for them for a year covering the HGC, which was the heroes global championship, their pro scene, um, and so, yeah, I was just, I was writing recap articles. I was writing preview articles and uh, having a blast. But then uh, Blizzard unfortunately cut the pro scene for Heroes. And uh, I had to eventually kind of pivot to other games. Uh, I kind of eventually landed on Hearthstone. So another Blizzard title um, card okay. game. Um, mm -hmm. But uh, I helped uh, Coach Feller at uh, Kearney Catholic for a little while. And then last year, I spent all of last year volunteering for Kearney High. And so I was just their dedicated Hearthstone coach. I would just come in uh, two times a week and uh, coach him on Hearthstone. And it was it was a blast. I, I had a ton of fun. Um, and so, yeah, the position at Joan kind of popped up and I decided to kind of throw my hat in the ring and... Thankfully, I was able to get the job. Well, great. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember. I played a little bit of Heroes of of the Storm um, okay. when that when that when that first came out. Yeah, yeah, it mm -hmm. wasn't a bad game. It really wasn't. I'm. I was kind of surprised it didn't really take off, but I think they were last to the kind of last to the big MOBA scene, and mm -hmm. which was kind of you had League of Legends and um, Dota, Dota Two. Mm -hmm. And so it, it, it wasn't a bad game, but I think it was just, you couldn't split that niche three ways. Yeah. And so yeah. that's, and so that's um, too bad, but I did like the team aspect of it and the objective aspect of that game. And I played a lot of Hearthstone back in the game, back in the day too, Hearthstone. Mm -hmm. And so that I had a lot of, I had a lot of fun with that. So um, <laughs> I know that you, you guys just started like this is your first year at, at starting esports at Dome, correct? Yes. Yep. yep. Uh, so this Why is tell this us a little our... bit about that. Sure. Yeah. So uh, this is our first semester. Um, and uh, if you don't know about Doan, uh, Doan University is a small liberal arts college in Crete, Nebraska. We're just like thirty minutes away from Lincoln, so it's not too far at all. Um, but Crete is our residential campus. We have a little over a thousand students there. And uh, we are coming in a little late, at least to the collegiate scene when it comes to a lot of the colleges and universities in Nebraska. But um, I think we're kind of uh, catching up and we're making a, a, at least a nice little place for our, our students to compete. Um, and so I started my job here at the very beginning of June. 
And at that point, we had nothing. We, I mean, we had a, the proposal, we had the budget, um, but we didn't have a space. I mean, we had a, a space that was just empty. Um, and so in that time, we've gotten uh, our arena up and running. Um, we were working on our streaming setup now as well. Um, but we have a fully functional gaming arena, um, and that is available for all, all of our Doan students and then reserved for our eSports students during their designated practice times. Um, so, yeah, yeah. Well, good. Well, good. That's exciting to get that to get that going, even if it's, it, you know what, it's better late than never. You know, <laughs> it's it, it's it's exciting to see these colleges really um, start embracing esports um so what games are you guys do you guys play or what have you played or what will you will you play this this year sure uh so yeah this year we're kind of starting out small um and we're trying to make sure that we're not biting off more than we can chew uh and so originally we were going to start with just two titles with uh super smash brothers and overwatch and those were uh based on the student feedback um the most popular titles uh, the people the ones that our students were interested in and so we're really trying to build this program with the students in mind and so um literally uh, our arena was you know kind of built with the students um they were in their first week of classes building desks building chairs putting everything together uh, with me which was which was great mm-hmm. uh, so we started with Super Smash Brothers and Overwatch, uh, but then we also had a couple of really dedicated students that were really wanting to put a Rocket League team together. And so uh, they did. They were like, we want to do these practice times and, you know, we're, we're, we're going for it. And I was like, OK, so um, this last fall we did Super Smash Brothers, which will continue in the spring. Uh, But because of Rocket League and Overwatch being obviously much more uh, team oriented, we needed some time to to build the chemistry, time to to figure out everybody's roles and everything. Uh, We held off. And so we just practiced in the fall. We're starting those in the spring. So all three of those titles will be will will be starting again uh, in January. Well, great. Well, great. And then um, what league, what collegiate league are you guys playing in? Uh, so we went with the uh, NECC, the National Esports Collegiate Conference, um, which is what a lot of the the uh, colleges around here are mm-hmm. are going with. Um, and so uh, so far, it's been uh, really really nice. Um, excited to see more of the the division setup that the NECC has uh, as we get into our competition for Rocket League and Overwatch. Um, but those, of course, aren't going to be the only titles that we do. Um, we are just kind of waiting for more player feedback, for more player interest. Um, uh, you know, I don't want to say, all right, we're going to build this Call of Duty team and only have like three people that are interested. So we're yeah. kind of pouring our resources to where we've got enough students and and those students are going to be dedicated. So, Well, good deal. Yeah. Um, as far as like adding games, what games does like the NECC, what what are some of those games that they offer that you might, I mean, like, obviously not for sure right now but Mm -hmm. games that you might be adding with in the future sure yeah uh i think uh there's probably uh we we have interest in all of the other games that the necc offers and so the necc has a different game for pretty much every night of the week and so on mondays there's valorant we've had a lot of valorant players come in uh to our arena and you know play on their own but at times there's really only like maybe two or three of them. Um, And so we haven't just had quite enough to put a full team together. Um, Tuesdays are uh, Rainbow Six Siege. And so we, we've definitely had a couple of people that are interested, but they haven't quite, you know, actually gone in and and wanted to, you know, put in the work for it. Um, Wednesdays are uh, League of Legends, uh, which would be really cool to get into. Obviously, with my roots to to MOBA, um, mm-hmm. there'd be a lot of research that would need to happen, but um, it would be great to to have a MOBA around. Um, and so, yeah, I think I'm. I don't think I'm missing anything. I know there's some Counter Strike. Uh, NECC does offer some Counter Strike, but it's not quite in line with the the rest of their league. Um, so yeah, there there's there's a lot of options. So, 
Okay, well, good. And then, so currently within your Overwatch, Rocket League, and um, Smash, is Smash just 1v1 then? Uh, it is a uh, crew battle. So oh, um, crew it is, yep, yeah, it is 1v1, um, but you are on a team of four. And so everybody has their own three stocks. And so each team collectively has the the 12 lives. And then uh, it's almost like King of the Hill, where obviously somebody uh, is going to, you know, uh, make it and win that first battle. Uh, and then they retain whatever stocks they had left over. Uh, and so then the goal is just to get rid of the enemy stocks before your team loses all of theirs. So, yeah, I see. I see. OK, OK, OK. Yeah, I'll bet that be quite interesting i know there's some states that do run that there's some other states we don't necessarily run crew battles here in nebraska with the niso organization but i know there mm -hmm. are some other states that do that those crew battles so that's so that's so that's really neat what do you got for players as far as like boys girls do you have a lot of freshmen are they mostly upperclassmen right now um so there's kind of a mix of everybody um since i was Coming into the position um, in June, I didn't have a ton of time or really product, I guess, mm -hmm. to, to sell people on uh, for recruitment. And so everyone that's on the team right now, uh, they're already, they were already existing Jones students. Um, and so we have about 18 on the roster with about another, I'd say 12 or so that I would consider like a club level. So they're okay. coming in, they're playing games, they're coming to events, but maybe they're playing games that we just don't offer right now competitively. So those are the Valorant players, you know. Mm -hmm. um, those are, I've had a lot of people come in and play Fortnite as well. Um, and so, uh, yes, we do, uh, we have uh, We have a couple females. Um, mm -hmm. The goal, of course, is that we are creating a space that is welcome to everybody. So um, it doesn't matter. They just come in and, and mm -hmm. game and they get to share that experience with everyone. So um, good deal. Yeah. Good deal. Good deal. We have a couple questions from the um, Twitch chat. Um, going back to crew battles, mm -hmm. um, um, do you put your best players first or do you put your best players last? Do you, do you anchor them or... <laughs> How does how does that work? Um, so we're still kind of new to it. Uh, there, there's definitely we have come across both of those strategies where mm -hmm. um we can't quite get through that first person because they are very very good. Um, uh, and then sometimes we will take care of the rest of their team and then get to the last person and realize, oh yeah, that is that's the anchor right there. That that is <laughs> that is an immovable wall. We're 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 gonna need some more practice to get through them. Um. And so it just kind of right now, I've been kind of bit basing it on uh, how the students are feeling, uh, you know, if uh, they're okay. they're warming up ahead of time. And uh, if somebody's like really like, you know, I think I can I can go in now. Maybe uh, my character isn't so great as a reactionary character, but like maybe they're better as kind of a, a surprise because you have that kind of the blind pick as that as, mm -hmm. as we go into that very first uh, match. So it's um. Kind of depends. We're still learning. Um, but, okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Another question from the Twitch chat: What does the what does the college or how does the college Hearthstone scene look like? What does that uh, look like? Did, sure. Is that, <laughs> does the NECC offer that at all? Or no, the NECC does not. I know okay. NACE does, I believe, um, and mm -hmm. then. I want to say I just got an email today about the ECAC, um, which is I think the Eastern Coast Athletic Conference. I'm I, I could sure. be wrong on that one. <laughs> I, it is an actual athletic conference that also has esports tied to it, um, and I believe they have a Hearthstone um, circuit as well. Um, but I just I haven't dug too much into it just because I don't have any players just yet. I do have one player that is uh has come in a couple of times and uh i've installed hearthstone for for them and uh it gets me really excited <laughs> being able to mm -hmm. see that um so hopefully i will have a better answer soon because we have somebody that wants to play it <laughs> well okay all right um um so how often do your teams like 
practice, play. What does what does what does your practices look like? Um, tell us a little bit about that. Sure. Yeah. So, um, like I mentioned with the NECC, there's like a different night of the week uh, for each uh, different title, and so uh, they're playing in a in a match once a week. Um, so, for example, Smash Brothers was on Tuesday nights, and they typically had about a 7.30 start time. Um, and then we practice uh, two times a week aside from that match. Um, and so my original goal when I came in was, well, we are actually technically part of the athletic department. Why don't I put my practices from the four to six range, which is where all the sports are practicing, not realizing that. Uh, like 90% of my players are also in sports. And so I I, uh, I have to kind of shift that around and we have practices from like seven to nine um, and some of them are four to six, but uh, so yeah, we practice twice a week um, and then it really just comes down to the, the game title itself. Um, and so uh, what we're doing in those practices, how we structure them, um, again, it's it's definitely a, a learning experience as I get better at these titles um, because I'm still not very good at them yet. Uh, to be honest, I have my specialty title here mm -hmm. or there, but um, uh, I I definitely obviously need more experience with more of these games. And so um, for like Super Smash Brothers, we can run through movement drills um, and uh, we can uh, do a lot of fun things. We do a lot of uh, like King of the Hill or tar tournaments where they get to play not only their you know main characters, but then also playing some of their some random characters or just some fun characters um, and just try to get a better idea of the whole roster since there's so many characters. Yeah. Um, with Rocket League, we have a really uh, gung-ho set of uh, students and they are putting together uh, kind of a minute-by-minute minute breakdown of what, what they want their schedule to look like, their practice. And that starts off with about 30 minutes of drills uh, between uh, shooting and uh, defensive drills and um, just some teamwork uh, rotations and everything. And then going into uh, the actual games themselves and then looking over replays. Um, and then same kind of thing with Overwatch, uh, kind of working on some uh, aim trainers and uh, some ability like workshop mods so that they can, uh, if they really need to get better at uh, on a sleep darts, they can do that. Uh, and then we can jump into a game and actually apply that. Um, and so they can try and see how it you know, actually looks in, in the game itself. So kind of a little all over the place, different for each game, but um, yeah, it's, it's really exciting, I think. <laughs> Yeah, drills are a big, big thing rather than just going in and just playing and trying to figure out drills, film, you know, being able to watch. Um, yeah, yeah, that I would, I 100% agree. That can make a huge, huge difference. And then applying that um, can really get your players better quicker, you know, rather than just sitting there grinding and grinding and grinding mm -hmm. and grinding. I get that. Um so then I know you have, I, I, yes, yet you haven't had any um, competitions yet as far as, but what, but what do you imagine that they would look like? Uh, oh, so we, or... we, uh, we did have competitions. We did have matches this semester for Smash oh, Brothers. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah for Smash, um, but also mm -hmm. for Overwatch, Rocket League. Yeah. Uh, so, so the NECC does have divisions where they take your, your ranking um, and they try to place you within, you know, a pretty close ish approximation okay. of your ranking. So other teams, you get put into a, a conference in that division. So the divisions are kind of based on your skill levels and then the conferences, they somewhat try to put you in like regionally um, as well. Uh, and mm -hmm. so then you're in a conference of eight. And so you have uh, two weeks of a preseason to then kind of figure out that placement, then six weeks of regular matches. And then uh, based on uh, who is in the top half of your conference, then those top half uh, will then go into a playoff afterwards. Um, and so, yeah, it's just uh, every game is uh, getting in touch with the other uh, team. Um, verifying that you know that time works or do we need to move up or move back or completely reschedule to a different day and then uh whoever is you typically the home team has to set up that custom game and then uh you go in and and go for it i guess <laughs> okay 
So. Well, very similar to what we do then. Yeah. Very yep. similar. Yeah, that's nice. Um, let's see. Um, does your what does what what does your arena look like, and how many compute? Oh, wait, I got another uh, Twitch question. Um, okay. somebody somebody's curious about what are your Overwatch players' ranks? What are they ranked at roughly? Sure. Yeah, they're they are they have a bit of a range right now. Um, mm -hmm. we've got a a player that is that that is peaked in masters. Um, and then we've got another player that is um kind of around mid diamond, I believe. And then uh a lot of the other players are about gold um or below. Um, I do believe we have maybe one platinum, but kind of mostly gold. So um a, a, a range right now, but um, they're they're definitely improving and they're having a lot of fun. So, well, good. So, what does yeah. your arena look like? How many computers do you guys do you guys have currently? Sure. So we have twelve gaming PCs. Uh, they are Lenovo Legion uh, gaming PCs, um, and uh, they have Intel i nine uh, processors and forty eighties in them. So they are. Uh, they're beefy. Uh, they yeah, they should hopefully um, uh, last for a while. Um, and uh, they they look they look great. Um, we paired those with a uh, Legion uh, monitors as well. Those have three hundred and sixty hertz. Um, and so it looks smooth. It looks great. Uh, so yeah, we've got twelve PCs in our main arena. Um, and uh, actually, secret lab chairs. I'm not like. Hopefully not getting in trouble for an ad or anything, but this is what I have at home. And so it's sturdy, it's comfortable. That's so that's kind of what I decided we should put in our arena as well. Um and are they uh, worth it? This the secret labs in your in your opinion. In your in my opinion, opinion yeah, I think so, yes. Um aside from a them. little aside from a little dust, I've had this for like a year and a half and it feels brand new. It looks brand new. Um it is it's uh it's pretty it's pretty good. Um, so yeah, we've got the 12 desks, 12 gaming PCs kind of on one side. And then on the, uh, other side, uh, we have uh, two TVs and then, um, some couches and chairs, uh, for kind of our console area. So that's where our Smash Brothers plays. We've got a lot of people that, uh, students that come in and play FIFA. And so, okay. um, we've got an Xbox PlayStation and then our switches there. So, Yeah. Awesome. Now, does your does your school um, currently offer like any scholarships, any perks, anything you know, being on the esports team or or stuff of stuff of that nature? If somebody's looking, watching tonight and thinking about, you know, maybe I'll go to Doan or or I had a really good buddy of mine that I graduated with went to Doan, so sure years ago. Mm -hmm. So yeah. But, <laughs> Um, yeah, actually, so my wife went to Doan, my my twin brother went to Doan as well. Um, so I have deep connections. I actually get mistaken on campus a lot for my brother, oh. even though we were there, uh, you know, 12 years ago at this point, um, or even longer, I can't count. Uh, but yes, uh, to answer your question, we do offer scholarships. So we have tuition based scholarships. Um, and those are available for players, they are available for anybody that is uh, you know, loves esports, but maybe they aren't super competitive. Um, maybe, maybe they have, uh, you know, an artistic mind and they like to do graphic design. If they want to come and help us with our social media, they could get a scholarship for that. Uh, if they want to help run social media, because I'm not very good at it, you know, they could get a scholarship for that. Uh, if they want to run our streams or cast, they can do all of those things and get scholarships for any of those. Um, and nice. so, yeah, it's, it's, it's wide open there. Um, and, uh, those scholarships do stack with their academic scholarships. So if they're interested and they, you know, they've got good grades, um, plus if they are doing something else on campus, uh, it can stack with another activity as well. And so we've got a lot of students that do band or choir. Like I said, a lot of students are doing another sport. Um, and so it would just be kind of working it out with myself and then the other person and, um, we can get you scholarships. Absolutely. Nice. Nice. And <laughs> if somebody would, if 
one of my wife's going to say, what does recruitment look like? I'm going to, I'm going to kind of word it more like if somebody needed to get in, get in, get in contact with you or about, about, you know, just playing on your team, maybe a senior or a junior, just shopping around, looking, looking, looking at several colleges, what's some of the best and easiest ways to, to, that they would be able to get a hold of you? Sure. Yeah. Um, so there's definitely a couple of options right below me right here. Um, we've got the Twitter or X, I guess you would call it, uh, Instagram. Um, you can message on there. Um, you could also email esports at done.edu uh, or just go to our webpage. You'll find that same contact link or uh, anything like that. Uh, I am in the NSCSA uh, Discord channel. And so if you want to just shoot me a message through there, you can find me on there. Uh, or you could always ask one of your coaches to try and uh, put you in touch. Um, but yeah, there are all kinds of options and it never hurts, even if you are even remotely interested. Uh, if you want to learn more about Doan, just reach out and we can get you as much information as you need. Yeah. Now, I remember meeting you. I remember I remember meeting you at the Fall State um um esports and you were and you were there also are you are you planning on being at winter or spring or uh yes yeah yeah absolutely that that would be my plan um okay. and so if that'd you be see another me way. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. that'd be um, another way you could talk to him one-on-one -on -one right there <laughs> yeah uh my hope too is that i would love to try and make it out to some high schools if, if coaches would like let me and uh come visit practices even just to observe or talk with anybody um it'd be really cool to see what uh some of the other uh high school um practices look like because i have some experience at, at, at carney and carney catholic but um it'd be cool to see you know how things run out elsewhere as well okay well that sounds great hey thank you for taking the time you know to talk with us tonight and and you know, if you have any questions about Doan or going to or going to Doan, please feel free to ask Coach Coach Blackman up there. Um, well, that'll probably it be it for tonight. Thank you, Coach, for being on with us, and being telling us about your new program, the exciting things going on there at Doan. Um, I'd like to thank everybody for watching tonight. Um, and I hope everybody has a you know what has a great Christmas, has a good break, and we will do this again next month. So thank you. Good night. Thanks. <laughs>